Mwah. It can be a hassle being asked to confirm your identity when you are logging into your account. But these checks are necessary to keep your information secure. Most service providers today are using multi-factor authentication, which is an authentication method where a user is granted access only after successfully presenting two or more pieces of evidence of their identity. The first factor is something you know, the kind of knowledge that's only known to you, such as a username, password, or a PIN number. To maximize security, it's recommended to use passphrases. Passphrases generally consist of four different words or more. The phrase shouldn't have a cohesive meaning or it'll be easy to guess. Pick words that are unrelated. The more random the words are, the more secure your passphrase will be. To make it even more secure, replace some of the letters with numbers and symbols. The next layer of security comes in the form of something you own. A specific thing that's in your possession, such as your phone, key cards, security devices, and so on. So if someone somehow gets hold of the password to one of your accounts, they still can't access your data without the device linked to that account. Remember to keep those things with you or in a safe place. And if you happen to lose any of them, take immediate action by calling tech support or suspending your account. And the last factor is something you are, which refers to the factors associated with your person. This factor usually involves a biometric method, such as fingerprints, facial recognition, a palm vein scan, and so on. And sometimes, when you're dealing with very sensitive information, your presence will be required. Hope you found the information in this video on multi-factor authentication useful. Stay secure!